Customer called because I have no water and we just did some site work here. But if I leave it just like this and I turn something on in the house, nothing. Yeah, I don't have enough to pump it up. No. Dang, shut it off. It's either in the line, the pressure switch, or the pump itself. Yeah. I'm going to call the plumber real quick and see what he thinks. Uh, I got a question about a pump. Uh, up at the house, which is three or four hundred feet in elevation above the pump, I just got here and there was zero pressure in the pressure tank, zero pressure on the gauge. Uh, did anyone check the resistance on the electrical wire from the pump to the well? No. Nah, if it's higher than 12, then it's below, then it's a blown pump. Right. There's water up here at the house, but it's very little. There was zero air pressure on the pressure tank. I, I think this guy's been fucking with it for a while. I put 40 pounds of air in the pressure tank, pumped the whole house up, everything was working good, but watching the pressure gauge, it dropped down to about 20 and then lost all pressure. Water will get back here to the house, yeah, but not enough pressure to run the house. I would change out the tank and the switch. It sounds like there's there's either like a bleed in the tank or the pressure switch not is not hanging on long enough, or mm -hmm. there could be some blockage in the in the little switch going up to it. Mm -hmm. If it's not brass, then those will clog up real fast. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're actually getting the pump to turn on and get water in there, then it's something to do with the switch on and off. It gets water up here, but it's not enough to build pressure unless you put more air back in the tank. Yeah, then it sounds like the tank is bad. It sounds like there could be a little hole in the membrane. You're pushing air in it, and then the water gets out, and then it just blows back in, and air into the line. back into the water. Yeah, the tank is blown. Is that something you're inter interested in doing for this customer? An hour and 15 from the shop. Mm. Yeah, I can't get out there until a week from today. Well, I appreciate the guidance. All right, dude, thanks. I don't think you got a, a break in the line from here to there, though. I mean, I wouldn't think so. I mean, the chances of that are probably super, super slim. It wouldn't have built enough to run the house. Can you check that uh, pressure switch down at the bottom at, uh, at the well itself? Uh, Is it just out in the field somewhere? It's just out in the field. It's stopping somewhere, so it's, it's on and it's pumping, but it shouldn't be. It needs to fill up. We're just flipping that to shut the power to it back off because there's. Obviously, a break in the line from here to the house. I bought it from my cousin's. It had a double wide trailer on it, but it burned halfway. And I need to get that cleared out of there. Okay. And was the trailer on a permanent foundation, like block, or? I don't know, but I think it was underpinned. <laughs> okay. It's been about a year since I've been to the property. What about uh, any decks or porches? They have concrete porch that um it burned too all right and then were there any additions or anything built on it other than the porches no okay can we get the dump truck and a, and a bigger excavator in and out of there pretty easily like is the driveway pretty decent to get a truck in and i can get around yeah. it pretty good with a machine yeah. i'm sure they pulled the meter and everything the fire department did there's no active power on it no, in fact, they cut the power That's in. That's well out there. Yeah, so. yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll cap that and the septic. Last question, what do you plan to do with the site after the house is gone? I have debated whether to put a house on it or make camping sites up in the woods. The reason I ask is, uh, you know, if you're going to rebuild in the same exact spot, we probably need to pull up the footings and everything, uh, which if it's a mobile home, it's just pier footings and if it doesn't have a permanent foundation. So that won't, the price of that won't really be drastic, but you know, you, you can save a couple bucks leaving the concrete in the ground if, you know, you, you didn't have a plan for it right now. And is it a problem to take the footings out? later no it's not sounds like someone will probably be back there in the future with a machine anyway so you can save a cup, couple bucks on the front end by leaving them now and okay that sounds good all right sounds good then i'll see you tomorrow at 10. uh tomorrow oh tomorrow at 10. uh oh, wait today's monday yeah yeah today? oh wednesday at 10. <laughs> sorry about that did, did you have a <laughs> did you have an appointment with someone out, out there Wednesday I beg your pardon did, did you have an appointment with someone out there on Wednesday just you I haven't I don't think I've scheduled any appointments well now tell me the name of your company again JC property professionals 
Oh my God. I'm so <laughs> so I'm sorry. I did just call you, didn't I? I was looking at my notes. <laughs> There's a company that was going to come from Hickory and look at it. I'm sorry. I am so confused. That's okay. That's totally fine. Okay, I saw your son, actually. And I said, oh, that's exactly what I need. <laughs> I don't need to tie your time up. I mean, we demo so many mobile homes, I can tell you a price now over the phone. That's why, I, that's why I took your time to ask you so many questions. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can come in with excavators, you know, and we'll just crunch all that up and load it out in a truck and haul it all out of there and just leave it back to raw dirt. Something like that for us to come in and do is 6,500 bucks. 6,500, yes, okay. Ma'am. That leaves the footings in the ground, but you know, we'll, we'll cap a little dirt over top of them. I just need to, let you know when I want to do it or yeah. when I'm ready and that, you can schedule me in. That's correct. Yes, ma'am. If you want to give me your email address, I can put all that on paper and send over to you. Whenever you're ready, at that point, you would just click approve on the contract and we would get a note and I'd call you to schedule. Thanks. We typically run three to four weeks out, so uh, this, okay. the sooner you know, the better we can get to you faster on the schedule. Okay, that sounds good. I'm writing all this down. I'll shoot you a text message when I send it over just so you know to keep your eye out for it. But yeah, it's essentially have everything we just talked about on paper. Uh, if you agree and you're ready to go, you would just click approve on there. And um, like I said, uh, I'll give you a call whenever I see that come through and we'll put it on the schedule. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. I'm trying to pull a fast one over. I could go out there Wednesday at 10 and see who the other company business is. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking tree to cut. That's gonna kill that tree too, so we probably shouldn't just top it. We probably need to cut the whole thing down. Little rooftop bar. Oh, dude. Hey man, what area of this house do you want the focal point of the view to be in? I want to clear as much of it as I can. So from every level, every angle in the house. And even just cutting to get a view in the shower area, that's uh, 20 feet of the top of the tree. That's going to kill that tree and it'll look like shit because it won't come back, you know, like the foliage won't cover. For example, that tree itself probably needs to be cut all the way down. There's four or five of them that are like that. I, I think these first, like, there's like a row almost, two, two rows of trees. Those probably need to come all the way down and then I can leave the undergrowth down there. So when you look out, you still see greenery, you see the laurel. But these big mature trees, the tops aren't up in the view. You know what I'm saying? And then we can just kind of selectively cut further if we wanted to. But I think, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of these mature trees, you need to take them all the way down to kind of, you know, do any justice. Chip and blow back down into the hole and then the wood I'll just cut up. That saves you money and gets the view. And then once we open all that up, if you decide you want, you know, some of the further trees, topped then then we can do that you know? let me walk around the other end of the house and figure out how i can get this debris out of here while not disturbing this rock and oil and stuff you know? all right so yeah this huge rock cliff goes all the way over to there that's like a 30 foot drop from there down really the only way to access this is from the other lot fortunately this property owner owns that too so we could come down through there but he wants to leave all that laurel so it's gonna be tricky. Nothing that. <laughs> Look at that. See, for him to have that view, we really need to go down there and cut all those. How the fuck do we get them up out of there?